actually shutting up, bro? Don't ever build food. What are you doing? How Have fun! You? Hold this for one sec. <laughs> Yo, what? What? What's up? What? what? Yo, what happened the last time we wrestled, bro? What's up? What's up? Alright. What happened? I remember. Let's go. Relax, Steven. Steven, chill. Back, baby. Kevin Distant Coder. Steven. So you did something very special today. Why don't you tell us? <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm average. I'm I mailed average. 20 cards, missed every card. All I hear you is complaining, bro. I played against former national champion Gabriel Vargas and two owed him with <laughs> the best deck. The best deck. The best deck in what? the room. Dude. The best deck in the room. I wonder what the greatest deck profile of all time might be. It might just be Pendulums, because it's the best deck ever. We're going to find out soon. Hope you guys are ready for this video. Before we get into it, why don't you guys go check out the link down below where you guys are going to see Elastrals. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elastrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elastrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. Me and Coder, I've been loving this game of Elastrals. We really believe in it, so make sure to go check it out down below. You can check out my channel where I have multiple gameplay videos with my brother showcasing how good Elastrals is a card game. It's a mix of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Magic all in one. You take the best aspects of each, combine it in one game, and do an epic battle of an amazing card game. So if you guys are ready for this video, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button and let's get straight into it. Let's go. The best deck in the so room. No one knows what it is yet. No one knows. It's Could a you, secret. Can, can, can you give them a hint on what it is? It's it's um it's a deck beloved by all every the duelist? play all the duelists oh my, in the game. Oh my god. So every duelist that in the world watching is gonna love this. Yes, they're all going to adore this deck. Uh I was normal summoning birds. Oh no! <laughs> But, it, but at least there's cool cards in the deck, right? There are cool. The there cards, are very cool, the cards unique cards look, that no one knows. The cards look cool, and there's some spicy decks. Very spicy. Uh, the birds, we don't have to talk about them. Uh, three Rabina, three Eagle, uh, one Street, one, one Toucan. This is like standard. Yo, the funniest point. thing in deck profiles. Also, why did you play three Robina? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever, I have to three Robina. Uh, it's consistent. Yeah, I like it. No, I, I play just the standard bird ratios. Uh, nothing to be said about that. So this is also standard. Uh, two of the. Penguin, one Ryza, one Avian. Uh, this is also very standard. standard. Where things get a little less standard, Milano. A little less uh -oh. standard. So this is now about to be crazy? Barrier, Mr. Kevin? I played the two barrier statue. What the? Now, the reason why I played two, mostly because uh, the, the, the Shizu tier deck, they like mill it, and then you're just like, well, I don't have I don't have the barrier statue in deck, so I can't play, and my opponent can play, and if they can't play, I can't play. I don't, wanna, I don't want them the to play. Strategy. Exactly. So I play two, because if they out the first one, you just go flip trap, normal Rabina, add the second one, summon it, and they've already wasted their battle phase, it's hard for them to out it. Uh, otherwise, like, they have like Pearl Arena or something, so you can deal with it fairly simply. Yeah. Uh, I play the one Crow to search off the, uh, the Rabina, and obviously the best hand trap in the game. Shifter is very fucking insane. Um, literally, no deck beats this. Easy. Uh, and then I played one last monster, which is an, an engine you will uh -oh. see in a moment. I played Ecclesia. I was Whoa. playing the... Yeah, the Dogmatica engine is really cool in this deck. Uh, it has some cool utilities, really cool things you can dump in the extra deck. Garura making it like an engage for the deck is really cool. So I did play the one Ecclesia, three of the Nadir Servant. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, then the rest of the bird stuff, you play three of the map, three of the advent, one of this thing. Uh, also standard ratios. This card's crazy. Um, yeah, just just... Standard bird stuff. We've all seen it before, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. It's not, none of this is new. None of this is new. Uh, three of the Pot of Prosperity, three Why of the Duality. Actually, actually, Why would you play that card? He hasn't seen it yet because you're banned right now, right? <laughs> Well, so actually, am I. I, mean, I was so banned yesterday. Was you didn't know that? What? I was unbanned yesterday. Officially? Yeah, not officially. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be yeah, three prosperity, three duality, and uh, this and this for consistency. This is the consistency cards. You gotta love consistency. You're gonna get blamed for having gold tuck in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's fine. Down below. Okay, to all the Flunder player. players out there that are gonna maul that my deck isn't perfect, cry about it. <laughs> Yo, I need Nadir's consistency because it gets you a draw one. Uh, Nadir's consistency, not just because it gets you a draw one, but like you have a lot of Nadir cards that you want to send. So you got the Garuda, which draws one. Omega is good for sure shuffling you're back. Not prosperity that turn. Uh, yeah, if you prosperity, you don't send this. If you prosperity, you send the Shireg. Shireg gets you a search for a wing beast when it hits the graveyard, equal to level number banished guys uh, or right. lower. 
So if you guys have one banished guy, you get to add any of the flus, or you can add. Yeah, like why do people girl. not play Nadir? Like this actually seems like it's good in this deck. It's it's a really good engine. I like it a lot. The only reason why it's like not, you're drawing one with everything else, anyways. The but, only but you're problem, also yeah. The only problem with this engine is if you shifter, then it's dead. But like if you shifter, you're winning the game anyway. So it's like fine. You just save it for turn three. Not a problem. Uh, I played the one Baron Blossom. This can be like a third Guru if you want. I played the Wagon. This is like an MST in the graveyard. It pops a back row. Uh, double Entis, which is your like Nadir servant package. Uh, I'll get to the rest of the extra deck in a second, but I also played this, this, and this. So you play the one punishment with the Ecclesia to add. Uh, the interesting thing, actually, the one thing that's actually interesting about this is that all the flus say that you normal summon a winged beast, except for M Pen. M Pen normal summons any monster. So you can normal summon the Ecclesia with the M Pen. So it's like, oh, it's interesting that synergy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So if Bro, you, I'm, I'm convinced that you actually need to play this. Yeah, scene. but Gold Sark's still the neg one. <laughs> okay, forget it's Gold like Sark. Fine. Remove it's, Gold it's Sark. Okay. But I'm it's, saying Nadir, uh, bro, like that has, Nadir has to be in this deck because you're always gonna resolve the Empen thing anyways. You're drawing one anyways. Yeah. Your prospering duality is a plus one. It's not a. It's like it's not a plus one. It's, a, it's like dead equal. So it's you like you're drawing the same thing. Card. But you're getting no. But you're getting Ecclesia. Yeah, so and that's you're the getting thing. The punishment. It gets you. Like, it gets you two extra. Cards, it gets you two extra disruption. Because in a perfect is. world, after you've like done all your flu shit, you just activate. If you haven't opened the shifter, obviously, you activate the Nadir. You dump the Shireg. You add DD Crow. You add Ecclesia. Normal Ecclesia get punishment. And that's two extra disruptions. But that could be dark. It could be no, dark. I mean, like, but for, I, I also I, I also really like the Nadir Servant engine going second. I like it more than Dark Ruler right now because you want to clear like back row more so than monsters. And like evenly they get to choose what to keep and whatnot. I like this because you get to like Entis pop whatever you want if you're going second. So I feel like it has good utility going first or second. But I do side it out a lot depending on like if I'm playing stuff that's like really optimal against the deck, I do side out this engine quite often. Um and then for the rest of the extra deck that I haven't showed you yet, I have the Zeus package. So you can make the, the little fucko or the uh, Nightingale to make the Zeus. And then the toolbox stuff is the Promenade Thrush, the Her, and the Anima. That's just like the rest of the extra deck. Pretty simple And uh, stuff. if you are allowed to play in tournaments, you'll finish first every time? Every single time. Yeah, yeah, yeah every time. I mean, I, I just, I tooled for former tool national game? champion. Yeah, yeah. What happened the last time we dueled? I forgot. Uh, the match? Uh, I did remember. I destroyed you. Something oh, like that. Oh, that's the last time we played. I told you. He's literally lying. I beat him two on original. Fuck out of here. So you guys are so you guys are tied. We're, one, yeah, one, we're one, both one. banned. It's okay. It's fine. We're both right. losers. Yes, you guys are tied. Okay, so after you guys are both unbanned, we'll run back to best of three. True. Right. Yeah. But would you guys beat original? Would you guys beat Milano? No. All the time. I literally 4 0 him today. Uh, Is that true? No, it wasn't no, 4 no, sorry. It wasn't 4 0. It wasn't 4 0. It wasn't 4 0. I won two matches. Yeah, you won both matches after mm. you took back every single play. <laughs> this guy would be like three plays in after, and he'd be like, "Oh, I didn't cry." I'm like, bro, that like after you like 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 in the beginning of the turn. What do you mean you didn't cry? You're learning my deck. You're at this. Look, listen, game. Bro. I'll credit you this. I'll credit you this. You're lucky and average. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> he still oh. lost two matches though. Congrats, bro. <laughs> if, if I made every single correct play and went back to make the correct plays. Could have done it too. This is genuinely the best deck profile I've ever seen. Genuinely. Yo, you guys are just having like a mid off right now. <laughs> what? You guys are mid -off. Dude, our match was like two hours. Otherwise, I'd say run it back. That was a very. Oh, it's also one a.m. I'm here. definitely you not trying to duel, but. Home, so I mean, I'll do anybody here. You guys are kind of. Okay, so am I tied on my side deck or no? <laughs> oh yeah, throw it. Yeah, yeah. I okay, cool. Right now, dark ruler, you need lightning storm. Uh, like... Three econ. No, there's no lightning storm in there. Right. Three three econ was really good though. It's literally just like the the, the flinder spell, but it also it like dodges the everything. dodge like because the thing is against uh what's it called tier tier does the same thing every single time. Tier just like makes the Draco Stapelia and the uh... <laughs> a lot of you good. Yeah, I know I'm chilling. You stole you my stole action, my deck. bro. Oh, I didn't touch oh, it. You went to my action deck. Yo, <laughs> that's mine. This is my extra deck. What do you mean? <laughs> bro, that's my yeah. extra deck, bro. What are you guys touching my extra deck? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll give it to you back in a second. I played uh, two Rhino Hearts, so Rhino Hearts quite good. Uh, you know, you get to get tears, you get triple Merly, you know. It's cards no, average. no, no, two Merly, two Merly. Holly was right, two Merly. This is not even Merly, this is Havnes. Okay, well, you said Merly. <laughs> Three Havnes. One of the duelists, you can't Three Havnes, you gotta play this card. No, you don't. You can, you can oh, I can continue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, can appreciate you, man. Yeah. appreciate you. I honestly don't even want to leak my groove. I'll be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, this dodge is Selic and Draco Stapelia. That's all you need to know. Uh, Duster, three Dark Ruler for going second. Yeah. Uh, two Feather Storm, oh, one Trap Trick. The reason why you don't play three and you play two one instead is because if you draw this, uh, you side into the second one of this trap, so you get to pick and choose yeah. whichever one right. you want to get. Macrocosmos because it's a floodgate and evenly matched because it combos with Dark Ruler, I guess. And uh, that's the deck. Yeah, I uh, two old Gabriel Vargas for everyone. <laughs> Get your, get your mats today. Stick, <laughs> stick to the gameplay. Yeah, can you guys believe that it says gameplay? Well, it says gameplay. That it says, says gameplay and says not game stick plan. Stick to the gameplay. It best, says gameplay. Can you believe this? Yo, I need to get the sign. I got you. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, thank you for the deck profile. <laughs> no that, problem. That was amazing. Maybe the one, best deck profile ever made. one day if I get bored, I'm just going to build a... Uh, Plunder, but definitely with the deer. I actually think it's sick, deadass. Yeah, I actually it's really do cool. think it's, it's amazing. Cool. <laughs> that was one deck profile. Thank, you, deck thank profile. you for the deck profile, Kevin. Deck profile of all time, bro. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals card game, available now on Kickstarter.